At one point in time, I had an entire medicine cabinet that was filled with over-the-counter drugs to treat all kinds of symptoms that I had. I'd have headaches, so I always had ibuprofen and Tylenol, and I had everything you can think of for digestive issues, from Pepto-Bismol and Mylanta to um, Zantac, which was prescribed at that time. You couldn't get it over-the-counter. And um, it just was literally filled. And I was popping these pills all day long with all these symptoms that I had. And I had diagnosis after diagnosis, but I, they also couldn't really quite pin me into specific diagnoses because I had so much pain. I was in pain from head to toe, literally. Now, if this sounds like you, and it sounds like you've been to the doctor and you're in pain, and they tell you, well, there's nothing really wrong with you. We can't find anything wrong with you. It's not that unusual in adult children of narcissists to have this kind of pain. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why this happens and some things that you can do that are different and maybe not as conventional of what, as what you've been hearing that can help you to heal. Hi, I'm Dr. Meg Hayworth. I'm a transpersonal psychologist, a holistic nutritional chef, and I am a best-selling author of the book, Get Well Now, Healing Yourself with Food and the Power of the Mind, which is a great handbook if you are dealing with a chronic mystery illness or a chronic illness of some sort and you are starting to really realize or maybe you really get that there is an emotional root cause to every illness. And so to go on a little bit about that, there is an emotional root cause um, to illness. And when you have been narcissistically abused, emotions are a huge part of the, the root cause because you were emotionally abused. Emotional abuse is serious and it takes a major toll on your body, your mental, your emotional, and your physical well being. And over time, you can develop all of these different symptoms from the abuse. And the way I look at it is, is pretty differently than the traditional um, medical model does. Um, it's that I look at you energetically. So I'm looking at your energy system and how that affects you mentally, emotionally, and physically, and how the emotional experience of guilt and shame and fear and sadness, all of that will drain you over time, making you feel like you don't have the energy. And essentially, you don't. And this is really what happens in narcissistic abuse is you're broken down systematically. It's like a thousand cuts. You are broken down little by little by little by little every single day. And then as soon as you are being brought up and made to feel like you might be special or there might be something worthy of being uh, loved about you, boom, you're thrown right back down into the criticisms, into the guilt, into the shame, and all that the narcissistic parent is projecting upon you because they cannot hold their own, their, their own traumas. They refuse to admit that they've been through them. They refuse to really work through their own mental and emotional uh, issues. They refuse because it is a shame-driven disorder and everything that they do is about creating a false reality so that they can survive without ever having to touch the shame. So they start to feel the shame and boom, it's yours now. And so this takes a huge toll over, over you throughout your life. Shame is from all the work I've done is the densest emotion there is. It is the one that weighs you down more than any other emotion. And if you have your own shame on top of the shame that's being thrown onto you, and of course you will because you're, you're picking up theirs, you're, you're sponging it in, and you're also developing your own. And when you're an empathic and sensitive person, this can lead to some really major problems in the physical body. So some of the primary problems that I see over and over again in my practice and many of the things that have happened in my own body, um, I'll see recurring migraine headaches um, with nausea and vomiting. Um, and this has to do with your uh, intuitive and cutting off your intuition. Um, and then also your center of personal power and feeling full loss of power uh, and being drained from those centers of the body. Body. Um, I'll see issues with fibromyalgia, and that's something that I was diagnosed with as well, where every single 
part of you, you're in so much pain, all of your muscles uh, and your whole body. And a lot of people dismiss fibromyalgia and kind of think of it as like this bucket that the doctor throws you into when they don't know exactly where to put you or to diagnose you when you have a chronic mystery illness, but they can't really tell you what it is. Um, but it's having been through it, it's it's real and it's painful and it's a really hard way to live. And with the fatigue that goes along with it, because chronic fatigue syndrome typically goes along with it, it, that, oh my goodness, fatigue, I think is one of the very worst symptoms that there is because you feel like you're literally walking through quicksand, like you have concrete feet and you're just trying to get through the day and it's incredibly difficult to deal with. And when you find yourself sleeping for 14 hours a day or more, because that's the kind of sleep that you need when you get that that fatigued, it's not just about being tired, it's much, much deeper than that. So one of the primary reasons why all of this happens is because when you're being chipped away at emotionally and you're being drained of your emotional experience and you're being separated from your true self, you're not being allowed to feel who you really are. You're not being allowed to experience that because everything that you do is in service to the narcissistic parent. It's not about you. It's not about what you need. It's not about how you feel. None of those things really matter unless it benefits the narcissistic parent in some way. And so what happens is you, with the draining over time is your immune response gets lower and lower and lower so that you become extra sensitive to all kinds of stimuli, to environmental stimuli from, from fragrances like Glade plugins, one of the worst things you can have in your, in your environment. Terrible, terrible, especially if you're a highly sensitive person. You might have MCS, multiple chemical sensitivity, as a result of the wearing away at the immune system over time. Now, in the work that I do, the, your immune system is your emotional body. That's also your inner child. And that has to do with the second center of the human energy system and the drains that are happening there. And the immune system, it's absolutely necessary to ward off outside viruses and bacteria and everything, <laughs> basically. Your immune system is supposed to be there to be able to be the frontline protector of yourself. But when your inner child self is completely wounded from being criticized, from being uh, blamed and shamed and guilted for every little thing that happened. Um, it it uh, it's very very difficult for you to have enough energy available to you to be able to carry out your life in a way that is empowering, that is helpful for you. And when you are in service to the narcissist all the time, then you will neglect yourself. And self neglect is one of the biggest problems I see with. Um, adult children of narcissists because you don't even know how to take care of yourself. You're you're sort of running on this belief that everyone else is more important than me, especially the narcissistic parent. And if you're still caught up in the cycle, you're like in your 40s or your 50s and you're still caught up in the cycle taking care of the narcissistic parent, um, that will wear away at your physical body. So, And you may have a diagnosis by now, you may have a chronic mystery illness. So. We're looking, when we look at these illnesses, I look at them in layers. So you there's going to be the chemical exposures you have of things in your environment, the things you put on your skin, the shampoo you use, perfumes and things that are around you, um, dusts and molds and all kinds of things. But then there's also the food that you're putting into your body and how that affects your body. And so when you're putting food into your body that is disempowering it, that is literally draining it even further, um, that is making you sicker, it, it doesn't it does not help you. <laughs> so, so those layers, those environmental chemical toxicities, the food toxicity, and then the emotional root cause, the emotional toxicity that you will have to endure as the adult child of a narcissist. It, those emotions continue to spin in you and in your energy field with their ensuing beliefs. So those negative core beliefs that are stuck in your energy field, those will continue to follow you and uh, wear away at you over time. So you'll feel like as you ruminate, because think about rumination and spinning, ruminating over 
something that you're punishing yourself over. Like, um, oh, oh my gosh, I, I should have said this in that conversation. Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Oh, they must hate me. You know, when you start, you're doing that, you're really using the voice of the narcissistic parent who programmed you to think like that. And so this ruminating that you're doing is spinning in that emotional state. That emotional state drains the body to the point where the bi your biology is not able to support your system in the way that, the, that it can. Okay, so that's like the blanket, like quick overview of what the problem is. <sighs> so solutions are, <laughs> and this is what I help people with are these solutions. And I do a holistic perspective. So I look at an environment. I look at food that you're putting in your body. I have a background as a holistic nutritional chef doing healing diets for specific health conditions. So I'm really well versed in foods that can help heal the body. Um, I'm also well versed in the things that can be draining your system that are in your environment and around you and, and swaps that you can use instead of those products to help you. And if I can't help you, I have a big, big network of people that I know can help you. So I can get you the help that you need. Okay, so then we also go to the emotional root cause. And I find that the emotional root cause is probably the most important piece that there is. Because if you think about it, every single thing in life begins with a thought, everything. So like, you know, this this notebook sitting in front of me, somebody thought it up, you know, I'm going to do this design on this notebook on the front cover, and I'm going to have it created, and then we're going to sell it. So everything in life is like this. And the same is true in our bodies, our thoughts, our feelings and our beliefs and our experiences inform our physical bodies, they inform our cell cellular memory. And we can reinform it we can program it because your physical body, believe it or not, is your subconscious mind. Every single cell of your body has the subconscious mind in it. So when we remove or release the energetics, the emotional energy that's caught in the body and in the subconscious mind, we can help you to release the illness. And I know it sounds fantastical. It's, it's really like a, a quantum level kind of healing um, that I help people with. And I'm so passionate about it because I healed, you know, and I've watched, you know, hundreds of clients over the years have these really incredible healings, mentally, emotionally, physically, when they focus on themselves first, when they claim themselves, they claim who they are, and um, I help them do that as well. So because it's holistic. And I know it sounds like, oh, my God, that sounds like so much and so many layers. There are a lot of layers. However, um, the way that I do this work happens so rapidly. We use my whole person integration technique to release that emotional energy that you'll be really surprised at how much you can get in such a small amount of time. So I know for me personally, I spent 15 years in traditional psychotherapy. I was in and out of doctor's offices for an entire decade. I was nauseous for an entire decade, popping my Lanta and Tums every single, single day. I was so sick and I had depression, I, a chronic depression, all these things that I was told would not heal, they were chronic, which meant they were with me. And those chronic illnesses are not here anymore. Do I have flare-ups from time to time? Yeah, I do. Um, do I have issues with my health? Yeah, everybody, you know, has, you know, I catch things sometimes, I'm, you know, I'm a normal human, <laughs> so, but for me, to be where I am today with all of the traumas that I endured, the physical abuse, the sexual abuse, the, the emotional abuse, the narcissistic abuse, um, it, I'm just amazed that I shouldn't be standing. I, you know, I shouldn't be able to, to walk, <laughs> you know, to, to uh, do what I do. But I am here doing what I'm doing and helping. And I would love to be able to help you. If this resonates with you, if you're just like, oh my gosh, she gets me. She's been, she's been narcissistically abused herself. She knows what this is like. And I feel like she can help me. Then please reach out to me. I do talk to everybody before I work with them. And I do one-on-one -on -one work. Um, I also have online courses that are coming up. 
Um, and uh, the online course that I have coming up is healing the five primary wounds of adult children of narcissists, um, of parental narcissistic abuse, and helping you with um, reprogramming, subconscious reprogramming, um, with meditations and visualizations and um and then also just some information to try to help you understand these different parts of the self that had that are drained, um, including the physical body, because that's part of the course as well, because it's the holistic perspective is what I look at. So if this resonates with you, please feel free to book a free call with me in the comments below and in the description below, you will find the links to book that free call. And uh, for also 52 ways to tell if your parent is a narcissist, go to my website at meghayworth.com slash narcissistic parents forward slash and uh, get that free checklist, which gets you on the email list. So you can learn more about the different programs that I am putting out there because uh, I know not everybody can work with me. Um, uh, and, you know, my practice is, is pretty full. There's a lot of people coming in. So um, please, uh, if you're interested at all, see if you can jump in and work with me because I would love to be able to help you with your chronic illness, um, with your mystery illness, and with those psychosomatic problems that the doctors say, there's nothing wrong with you. It's all in your head. It's all in your holistic system, and I can help you with that. I'm Dr. Meg Hayworth. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that this information will help you get well now.